Okay, today we're going to do a quick review of a magazine. Uh, this is a CAA Airsoft Division 360 round high cap for an M4 M16. Uh, first impressions, just looking at the packaging, standard packaging, there's nothing special about it. Uh, let's take a look at the mag, open it up. Do it on camera here so everybody sees it. Pretty nice construction. Uh, feels looks like a little bit like a P mag. Um, got the little door on the top that opens up pretty decent with a finger. Wheel on the bottom, pretty smooth. Um, pretty solid mag. Just looking at it from initial impressions here. Uh, we'll have to fill it up, give it a shot, and see how it works out. What we're going to be using today is these three guns. We have a, a JG M16, we have a SCAR, and we have another M16 we're going to, or M4 we're going to be using. I think this is a JG as well. Uh, what brand is this? This is VFC. VFC. So we're going to try the mag in all three of the guns with various type weights of BBs just for feed and see how it, how it, uh, it functions, how it fits in the mag well and things like that. Okay, we're going to start off and test the mag wells and how the mag fits in in the various guns. We're going to start with the JG M16. Okay, and we're going to insert the mag. Seems to go in there pretty tight. Very little wobble. Seems to hold in there pretty good. And uh, do a release. Seems to release pretty good. Okay. Now we'll try the scar. Goes in there pretty good. Little bit of wobble on that, and the release is pretty decent. Now, the last one. This is a JG. This is an all plastic body gun. Uh, it's a little flexible, so it goes in there. Little bit tight, no wobble whatsoever. But the big kicker on this is it's a little tough coming out. Other than that, seems to fit good. Okay, as you can see on the top there, uh, it does have a pretty decent door that you can open up easily. Okay, and you'll be able to pour the BBs in. Standard high cap. Okay, the only issue that I see so far, it's got a good door on the top, but the bottom wheel is recessed a little bit. It's a little hard to wind. There's not a lot of the wheel sticking up there to be able to wind it. Okay, now we're going to test it in the gun, see how it feeds. We're going to start out with the JG6 M16. Okay, first on semi only, a couple of rounds. Okay, now we're going to switch to full auto. Okay, it looks like it works like a champ. Now we're going to try the scar. Wind it up a little bit. And we're going to shoot semi. Now switch to full auto. Looks like it feeds good. Okay. Now we're going to switch up to the plastic sport line JG, I think, is what this is. Like I said, the mag well is a little tight on this one. We're going to wind it up and we're going to try it on semi. Shooting good. Switch to full auto. Okay. Doesn't seem like it can keep up on that level one on that particular gearbox, though. Okay, what we did, we switched up from the 11.1 that was on that gun to a 7.4 and we're going to try the full auto again because it was sort of like flat firing and misfeeding some BBs with 11.1. So let's try it with 7.4. Feeding like a champ. Feeds great with a 7.4. Final conclusions on this. Um, we both tested, a friend of mine Mark is here helping me test this and we both like the texture, the grip that it has, the look of the magazine. Being plastic, it's lighter than a metal high cap. We really like that. The overall look of the mag is good. Um, 
it fed in all the guns, didn't have an issue with that. Uh, the only two negative things that I will bring up is this door on the top. Instead of being a slide, it's a spring-loaded clip. It's hard to see here in the video. So you got to push forward with your finger, and it's a little flimsy, so it might break. And once that breaks, your BBs will fly all over the place. The next slight negative is the winding wheel is very low. Uh, it's very hard to translate to video, but there's not much sticking up here. If you had a glove on, it would almost be impossible to try to wind this. As we're winding it with your finger, you're barely getting any grip on there. Now, maybe you could cut a little gouge out of this so that it will extend down more, but you're going to ruin the mag doing that. So that's the only two negative parts of this. Uh, the mag overall is pretty good for a high cap. It's pretty solid, fed all the BBs. Um, didn't have a problem. The one gun shooting 11.1, uh, it, it was the gun itself, just couldn't handle the BBs coming out. But overall, decent mag for the price. Uh, links will be in the description and where you can get these. And thanks to Airsoft Peak for sending us this mag so we could test it out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.